All right, let's talk subject to real estate. Number one, it is the easiest thing you have ever heard of. It is as simple as you and the seller, any seller, any homeowner coming to an agreement on terms. You guys put it in writing, take it to the title company, and that is it. The title company is essentially going to throw a promissory note together, get that deed transferred into your name, although the mortgage will remain in the name of the homeowner. You will take over the moral responsibility. If you like this, watch for part two. As I was saying in part one, we were talking about subject to real estate and how easy it is to take over a mortgage. We were talking about how that deed gets transferred over to you while the mortgage remains in the homeowner's name. Now, keep in mind, although you will not take over the financial responsibility or really even the legal responsibility, I still believe that you have the moral responsibility. So that's why when you take my course, we're going to talk a lot about the law, but also a lot about character. Follow along if you like this part three. So as I was saying in part two about subject to real estate investing, here's part three. So in part three, let's talk a little bit about how do you find a mortgage to take over? Well, number one, you don't find one, right? You have to make one. It's not like someone's going to knock on your door and be like, yeah, you know, subject to do it. Most investors have never heard of it. Most banks have never heard of it. So I can assure you, most homeowners have no idea what you're talking about. I'll keep going in the next part. Follow along. All right, in part three, we talked a little bit about who knows about subject two and how to find those deals. Now, here we are in part four. So essentially, you wanna use your same exact lead generation that you are currently using. So if you're a wholesaler or a realtor or any kind of real estate professional or entrepreneur, you are great, you already have leads. Now you're just gonna offer them another way that you can buy their home. So you can continue to do the cash offer, but you can also offer an offer that has terms in it. I'll talk about those terms in the next video. Thank you for sticking around for all five parts as I explain subject to real estate investing, as I call it, mortgage takeovers. You can learn more at mortgagetakeover.teachable.com in my full course where I teach you from start to finish how to buy just one to three houses a year. You know, I'm not going to teach you how to build a full on business just if you're getting started or if you just want to add another niche, just a couple of houses a year, right? And if you want to scale it, scale it. As I was saying, you'll just take over whatever terms they currently have in the mortgage and that's it. It's that easy. <music>